Welcome to Working with Standard Task Templates, presented by AssetWise Performance Management. In this topic, you will learn how to work with Standard Task Templates in APM. Previous topics provided an overview of Standard Task Templates, how to create them in APM, and how to use them to create standard tasks. Now we will take a look at how to work with Standard Task Templates. This includes changing the template properties, reviewing and applying the changes, overriding template values on a standard task, removing a link between a task and a template, and changing the task's template. When a standard task is created from a template, a link between the two is created. You may find it necessary to change a task template. For example, you might need to change the template's expected frequency or its requirements. When the change is made to the template, you can apply the changes to update the standard tasks that are based on the template. This can save a lot of time and effort in maintaining your standard tasks and also helps to ensure consistent task definitions across assets. For example, you might have created a task template to change oil. The template included requirements for one mechanic to work for 30 minutes using 40 liters of oil. The template was used to create standard tasks for three trucks. Over time, it became apparent that the oil change takes 40 minutes to complete instead of 30 minutes. Additionally, only 30 liters of oil are required. The template is edited to reflect these changes and the changes are applied to each task. Here is an example of changing the template and applying the changes. Some assets that have standard tasks created from templates may have differences. For example, a different operating condition or a task requirement. You might need to change the standard task to suit the asset. You can override some of the template values on the standard task while keeping the link to the rest of the task template. In the example of the oil change task template, changes were made to the template and then applied to the standard tasks. For truck three only, the oil change takes 20 minutes instead of 40 minutes. In this case, the standard task for truck three is overridden to reflect this change in the mechanics time requirement. The following standard task values are linked to the task template, but can be overridden on the standard task. Requirements and holds, documents and indicators, and detail properties such as description, work classification, frequency, asset operating condition, technology, work priority, estimated duration, asset status, site status, and shutdown type. To edit detail properties of a standard task based on a template, you can choose to allow detail overrides. If you edit the standard task's detail properties, future changes made to the task template's detail information will not be applied to the standard task. However, you can remove overrides, replacing either the detail values or all values with those from the template. You can and should review the changes made to the template and tasks. To do this, open the standard task and enable editing. Select the template view and the summary tab. This tab shows which types of information have been overridden on the standard task. The other tabs compare the standard task current values with the template's current values. An information icon indicates the differences. To reset the standard task's detail information, click the Tools menu, Overrides, and then Remove Detail Overrides. When you confirm that you want to reset the details, the information on the Properties, Description, Triggering Status, and Asset Status tabs revert to the template values. Indicators, requirements, and procedures that were identified on the task template can be removed from a standard task. Additionally, indicators, procedures, and requirements that are not included on the task template can be added to a standard task. You can change the task title, maintenance group, dynamic route information, including the indicator collection set and planner, planning lead time, and indicator inclusion options. You can also change the properties of requirements that have been added via a task template, 
such as the number or amount required. The advantage of keeping the link to the template is that if indicators, procedures, or requirements are added to the template, the standard task receives the update from the templates while retaining any overrides. Standard task and task templates are linked. You may choose to remove a link between a task and a template. When a link between a standard task and template is removed, the standard task becomes completely independent of the template. Any changes made to the template will not be reflected on the standard task. To remove the link between a task and a template, open the standard task and ensure that editing is enabled. From the Tools menu, select Template and then Remove. You will be asked to confirm that you want to remove the link. Click Yes. APM deletes the reference to the task template. The standard task information is not changed. Save and close the standard task. There may be times that you need to change the task template that an existing standard task is linked to. This may be necessary if the wrong task template was identified on the standard task or if a more applicable template is available. When you add or change a task template link on a standard task, the new task template's information replaces the standard task's existing information. Any overrides from the template are cancelled on the standard task. Note that the following information does not change on the standard task. Task number, asset to work on, asset to charge, standard task title, and standard task planner. After adding or changing the task template link, you should review the standard task to make sure that it is correct. Make any changes that may be required. To change the link between a task template and standard task, open the standard task and ensure that editing is enabled. To change the task template, from the Tools menu, select Template and then Change. The Change Task Template dialog appears. The standard task and its current template are shown. To change the template used, click Browse and select the task template that you want to link the standard task to and then click OK. If a standard task is not linked to a task template, you can add a link. If necessary, you can also remove the link to a task template. To add a link to a template, open the standard task and enable editing. From the Tools menu, select Template and then Add. The Add Task Template dialog appears. Browse to open the Standard Task Selector dialog. Choose the task template's configuration and then select the task template you want to link to the standard task. Click OK. APM replaces the values on the standard task with the values on the selected task template. Review each tab of the standard task to make sure that all of the values are correct. Save and close the standard task. In this module, you have learned how to work with standard task templates, including changing the template details and then applying the changes to standard tasks that are based on the template. You have learned that you can override a task's details while still maintaining a link to the template. Overrides to a standard task can be reviewed and removed if necessary. You have seen how a task's link to a template can be changed or removed. Additionally, you can also add a link from a standard task to a selected template. Finally, it is possible to change a task's template. This is done if the incorrect template has been used to create a standard task. For more information on standard task templates, refer to the APM online help. Thank you for watching Working with Standard Task Templates.